The current official guidelines for patient contact precautions in Australian hospitals prescribes the wearing of aprons and gloves regardless of the type of anticipated patient contact. This results in the unnecessary use of thousands of disposable gloves and aprons each year and can actually promote the spread of contamination. Academics from UNSW Sydney, in conjunction with the Prince of Wales Hospital, have produced modified guidelines for contact precautions. These guidelines detail a new risk assessment specific to gown and glove usage, in conjunction with correct hand hygiene, as laid out in the World Health Organization's Five Moments for Hand Hygiene, adopted by Australia. The following scene illustrates the dangers of following the current official contact precautions. Here, the nurse touches the door handle with new gloves. The door handle is a high-touch area that is highly likely to be contaminated. Having handled the bedpan, the nurse's gloves are now contaminated, possibly with enteric pathogens. The gloves should be removed and hand hygiene procedures observed. At this stage, the nurse should be handling the water jug with ungloved hands that have been properly cleaned with alcohol-based hand rub available at the end of the patient's bed. By handling the patient's medication with contaminated gloves, the nurse is potentially spreading contamination to the patient. After touching the water jug, which is considered part of the patient zone, or before touching oral medication, the nurse's hands should be ungloved and cleaned with alcohol-based hand rub. If the nurse is needing to touch the patient, she should clean her hands with an alcohol-based rub, which should be available inside the patient's room. By performing this procedure with contaminated gloves, the nurse could be inserting bacteria into the patient's body. At this point, the nurse should have clean hands with clean gloves. On completion of the procedure, the gloves should be removed and hand hygiene observed. By touching the emptied contaminated bedpan, the nurse risks spreading bacteria and increasing the bio burden within the patient's zone that can potentially contaminate inanimate objects. All of the contamination risks you've just seen occurred whilst observing the current official patient contact precautions for Australian hospitals. They can easily be eliminated by following the modified guidelines as provided by UNSW Sydney and the Prince of Wales Hospital.